but I'm an optimist. I think that it won't start immediately. I think there's a potential at first as we see the numbers. People start to see a lot of numbers of alcohol-related misconduct as we include everything that we see a lot of high numbers at first and we see a very short amount of time in between events. But I'm an optimist that in the long run, as people become smarter, as they become aware, as people talk about it more, uh, as they begin to be better wingmen for all types of alcohol-related uh, misconducts, that the, numbers, the number of events will continually decrease and the amount of time in between individual events will increase. Sometimes we see people use alcohol as a coping mechanism and I really would like to see people not use it that way but have uh, a whole maybe toolkit of positive coping mechanisms you know and the helping agencies on base are just fantastic in helping people build that toolkit. You have to you have to look around you have to see what your friends are doing you have to know them and you have to be willing to step in. And, and if they are doing something alcohol related that, that you think is, uh, is wrong, unacceptable, or they're about to get themselves in trouble, step in and help them. Because you're, you're gonna save their career, you, you may save their life, depending upon what they're doing. Um, and that's what, that's what we owe to each other, is to, uh, to help support each other, to watch out for each other, and try to uh, intervene where, where we can.